student in this video we will learn about the agriculture of india social science for class 10 students from your geography portion resources of india content introduction factors that determine the type of farming practiced types of farming in india cropping pattern crops of india factors responsible for the low productivity in india technical and institutional reforms, contribution of agriculture to national income, development that help raise of agricultural productivity, and conclude with some important points. <coughs> Introduction. India is an agricultural country that is because two-thirds of its population is engaged in agricultural activities. Agriculture is one of the most oldest human activity agriculture is derived from latin words agri means land and culture means cultivation which literally means land cultivation definition agriculture is the process of producing food seed fiber and other goods by the systematic raising of plants and animals factors that determine the type of farming practiced physical under physical, we have relief or topography, climate like temperature, rainfall, humidity, and so on, and location, where is it located, what type of soils are present in that certain region for cultivation or from farming, and so on. Next, human. Cultural background of people. Cultivation of any crops or domestication of animals are influenced by the local culture. Many cultural factors influence agriculture. Chief among them are religion, social organization, food choices, medical treatment practices, and so on. Next, sources of irrigation like the presence of canal, tube well, wells, and so on for farming or cultivation and agricultural practices agricultural practices means basically a collection of principles to apply for farming production processes in order to get better agricultural products they are simply practices used in agriculture to facilitate farming example like soil preparation sowing manuring irrigation harvesting storage and so on <clears throat> types of farming in india primitive subsistence or slashed and burned farming why slashed and burned farming because farmers clear slashed and burned a small piece of land and grow on it cereals and other food crops to sustain themselves why primitive subsistence that is because farmer in this type still utilized old primitive tools and technique for farming and cultivation to sustain themselves or their own family intensive subsistence farming it is labor intensive farming practiced in the area of high population pressure on land high doses of biochemicals inputs and irrigation are used for obtaining high production every bit of land is used terraced are made where the land is hilly and swampy areas are drained for cultivation of paddy next commercial farming this type of farming uses high technology and modern inputs for example high yielding variety seeds chemical fertilizers insecticides and irrigation for obtaining high productivity Crops are grown on large estates like plantation, cash crops like tea, coffee, apples, bananas, oranges, and so on are cultivated. Migrant laborers are employed for work. Huge capital investment or inputs in terms of money and most of the produce is used as raw material for industries. Example, rubber cotton jute sugarcane and so on cropping pattern india has three cropping seasons first karif 
crops sowed with the onset of monsoon in June and harvested from September to October. Rice and millet are major Kharif crops of India. Rabi crops sown in the beginning of the winter season from October to December and harvested from April to June. Wheat, barley, and oil seeds are rabi crops. Zayad meaning extra, a short cropping season between the rabi and karif season. Watermelon, marksmelon, cucumber, fodder crops are some important zayad crops. Fodder crops are those crops harvested when in grain for feeding the cattle or domesticated animals. Crops of India Food grains Wheat It is the second most important cereal of India and is grown as rubber crop in northern and central India. Rice It is the staple food of the majority of the population. India is the second largest producer of rice next to China. <coughs> Maize It is used as food as well as food crop. Its production have increased with application of modern inputs like high yielding variety seeds, fertilizers, and irrigations. Millets, Jawar, Bajra, and Ragi are the important millets grown in India. They are also known as coarse grain, that is because they have a rough outer covering. Their nutritional value is very high. Next, pulses. Pulses are the major source of protein in a vegetarian diet. Gram, urat, mong, masur, ahar, and paste are some major pulses grown in India. Here are some images of the pulses grown in abundant in India. Food crops other than food grains. Sugarcane. India is the second largest producer of sugarcane after Brazil. It is the main source of sugar, gur, kansari, and molasses. Oil seeds. India is the largest producer of oil seeds in the world. Groundnut, sesamund, cassar seed, mustard, linseed, and sunflower are major oil seeds grown in India. Most of these are edible and used as cooking medium, but some are used as raw material in the production of soap, cosmetic, and ointments. D. Main beverage crop. India is the leading producer and exporter of tea in the world. Coffee. It is the second most important beverage crop of India. Indian coffee is known for its quality all over the world. It brings a huge or handsome amount of foreign exchange. Next, horticulture. Hortus means garden. Cultura means cultivation, which literally means gar gardened cultivation. India is the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables. India leads in the production of peas and cauliflower, is second in onion, cabbage, tomato, brinjal, and fourth in potato production, mangoes, apples, oranges, cashew nuts, and so on are also produced in abundance here in India under the banner horticulture. <coughs> Non-food crops or cash crops. Rubber. It is an important industrial raw material. India is the fifth largest producer of rubber in the world. Rubber is used in manufacturing auto tires and tubes, cycle tires and tubes, footwear, camelback, belts, and so on. Cotton. India is the third largest producer of cotton in the world. Cotton is used as a raw material in textile industry. Jute, it is also known as golden fiber. It is used to make mats, ropes, carpets, yarns, gunny bags, and many other ornamental things. 
it is obtained from jute plant here are some images some products that are being produced with the help of rubber jute and cotton factors responsible for the low productivity in india first overcrowding in agriculture next overcrowding in agriculture we can take the example of intensive subsistent farming next size of land holding the indian farmers hold very small areas of land for cultivation and some are even landless so this is an another problem for the low productivity of agriculture in india poor techniques of production you can see the image of there the indian farmers still utilized the primitive tools and techniques for production which caused low productivity in india next problem of inputs since the indian farmer are poor in nature it is very difficult for them to put more investment for the development of the productivity in agriculture next pattern of land tenure here let me give the definition of land tenure first land tenure refers to the way in which land is held by an individual from the government so in the case of india many indian farmers are landless and some far farmers even if they own a land it is very small for them to sustain themselves so they do cultivation or farming with the help of the big farmers and the landholders which have a great impact on the productivity of the agriculture which have influence the input for the development of productivity in agriculture in india technical and institutional reforms under this we have the first one land reform land reform was the main focus of indians first five year plan under this we will come across with abolition of zamindari system consolidation of land holdings and so on land reforms refers to efforts to reform the ownership and regulation of land in india or those lands which are redistributed by the government from land holders to landless people for agriculture or special purposes next launching of irrigation schemes next subsidy that means cut down of price of the seeds fertilizers pesticides insecticides to ensure that farmers continue to improve agriculture and so on next free power supply like that of electric city kerosene and so on high yielding variety seeds are being developed and being provided to the farmers to increase the productivity of agriculture and even agricultural universities are being set up to develop the production of agriculture public procurement systems and agriculture price commission this kind of institution have been set up to avoid any kind of exploitation by the middlemen or the speculators towards the farmers next crops insurance and agriculture finance here it refers to the economic security provided to the farmers against any uncertainties like natural calamities or crop failures and agricultural finance it refers to the platform of credits or loan available to the farmers from the formal financial institution
Next, contribution of agriculture to national income. Agriculture ensures food security for the country and produces several raw material. It is the backbone of Indian economy as it provides employment to a large number of people. We have already dealt with that. We have come across that two-thirds of our population are engaged in the agricultural activity directly or indirectly. So it is considered to be the backbone of Indian economy. Agriculture indirectly contributes to the growth of secondary that is the manufacturing industry and tertiary sector that is the service sector of our country entry of processed food in the market have gained a huge foreign exchange as well development that help raise of agriculture productivity First, introduction of high yielding varieties of crops or seeds. Next, investment being done in the field of agriculture. Next, expansion of credit. Under this, we will come across saying that many banks are being opened up in the rural and remote areas of India to expand the loans to the farmers for the improvement and development of agricultural productivity. Marketing and processing facilities. Indian marketing faced a lot of problems like transportation cost, inadequate market infrastructure, lack of market information, lack of processing, storage facility, price fluctuation. So all this problems are being looked after by the government of India so as to provide a better platform for the productivity of agriculture. So we will end up with some important points. The first one, variations in climate, soil and cultivation practices in is responsible for the variety of food and non-food crops found in our country. Horticulture is the branch of agriculture concerned with the intensively cultured plants directly used by men for food for medicinal purposes or for aesthetic gratification. Cotton, jute, hump, hump and natural silk are four major natural fibers of India. Sericulture is the practice of raying silkworm for the production of silk fiber. Green Revolution was the program set up or taken up in 1960s to quickly increase the production of food grains, mainly rice and wheat, by application of the technology of high yielding varieties of seeds fertilizers and irrigation. White revolution refers to a rapid increase in the production of milk through the dairy development program and associated modification in dairy technology. Gene revolution is the application of biotechnology or genetic engineering in food production. It provides the farmers with disease-resistant crops, pets-resistant crops, and it also reduces the use of chemicals that harm the environment and human health as well. So with this, we will end up our chapter. Thank you, students.